Hey, see, I've got a high voice. I'm sitting here with Ryan Lowe discussing his high voice. So, Ryan Lowe, when did you discover you had this amazing, first of all, you were voice soprano. Uh, I actually never was a voice soprano. I didn't find out until uh, uh, I was probably 17, because I'm originally from San Diego, so you have to have a car in San Diego, so I drive around, and uh, I, my uh, passion was opera at the time. And I used to... Um, wait, wait, yeah. just woke up again. Okay, go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and so when, as I was driving around, I would sing along with the, the music I was listening to, and I would just have this, this stuff. I'd sing along with the sopranos, the big divas. What kind of, of voice time. is that? It's not called... It's not, what kind of voice is it called when you have a crazy high soprano? Um, well, they call it... Nobody really knows. <laughs> it's a Why voice category, c- category of its own. Uh, it's not written in opera that high for any guy, right? There are Calcutta. there are roles actually that Mozart wrote uh, for for Castrati of the, of yeah. the time. Yeah, but that, not um, if you have the business. Which, though, right? Yeah, that. if you still have the business, then I don't know what it's called. Male soprano is what they call it now. Um, How high do you F- normally go? Uh, like what's um, comfortable for you? B flat. And like, what's like, what's C, the normal? You want to push it. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, did you ever think that this would actually? Because now, right now, he has a job. He's in Chicago. Did you ever think that this that this would ever pay off with an actual gig? Uh, never, never until I saw Chicago. And, and then, then like, I don't, that's, that's what I want to do. How long yeah. have you been in the show? Six and a half years. Do you have matinee keys? Uh, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm B-flat every single show. Really? <laughs> yeah. And now what's, you know, people are so neurotic about their voice in musical theater. Do you have any crazy rituals? Do you, do you not even warm up? What's your deal? I do warm up. I warm up a lot. Uh, and uh, much to the chagrin of my castmates. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, I have, to, I have to make sure at least the B-flat is there before I go on and sing it. Have you ever crashed and burned? Uh, the only time actually I crashed and burned was when I, last December, when I lost my voice, actually. It was the first time that I've ever lost my voice and for why some did you reason. Lose it was it? right after that Gypsy performance of the West We're going to talk about Gypsy of the Year. <laughs> now, why did you lose it? I have no idea. I think I, I was, I was studying a new role at the time, and then, uh, I was re- rehearsing the Gypsy, and then the, the high of the Gypsy, and winning the Gypsy, and then, uh, um, I think I just crashed and burned, and everything just left me. It said, and okay, I need a rest. Uh, it, uh, did. Actually, I thought I was going to have it, and then uh, I went up and tried to hit that B flat, and it was gone. What came out? So, um, a lot? <laughs> not, not anything Blood? pretty. <laughs> Lots of, yeah, spewing, spewing, uh, just nasty sound. Um, so. <laughs> refund. Okay, so I wanted to do a little series really? amongst this year, which is, you know, benefits that people don't ever get to see. Because, you know, living in New York City, you get to see just these incredibly creative benefits where people put on these brilliant performances for a night. And Ryan has done at least three amazing performances in Gypsy of the Year. He won one. He was discussing that. So I wanted him to recreate one of the performances he did, which is singing a song from Phantom of the Opera. Now, just on a side note, I used to play piano for Phantom of the Opera for many years. What no one ever really seems to ever bust is that Carlotta begins her song. Think of me, think of me, Polly. And then she gets injured. They go, Christine, die. The understudy, you try it. Uh. Think of me. Little two-step sound, no acknowledgement. Just suddenly it's in a new key. It drives me crazy. <laughs> Why doesn't anyone ever see it? Uh, They're both sopranos, right? Yeah, but no one ever says, try to sit down, just try it. Okay. <laughs> Psychically, I'll transpose it. Anywho, so this is the performance Ryan did not win at, but I'm totally obsessed. He's going to recreate a song from Phantom of the Opera for you from a benefit. Think of me, think of me waking silent and resigned. Imagine me. Trying too hard to put you from my mind. Think of me, please say you'll think of me. Whatever else you choose to do, there will never be. Can it be, can it be, Christine? Bravo! What a change, you're really not a bit The cockish girl that once you were She may not remember me But I remember Flowers fade, the fruits of summer fade They have their season, so do Promise me that sometimes you will think. <laughs> 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 